Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is episode three in my second series of seeing if my Garmin 265S can train me to a PB. So last series I did it working towards the 10k PB, which I didn't get in the series, but I did just after the series ended. Um, I actually documented that in episode one uh, of this series. So if you want to go and watch that, please feel free to go and watch the last two episodes. But you join me on peak week. So the last two weeks, um, I've been a bit quiet actually. Um, I haven't posted a video, so I'm coming at you now. And I've, I have recorded for the last two weeks, but being brutally honest I just wasn't once I'd edited it I just wasn't particularly happy with the content um I've had a lot of just a lot of stuff going on really and I just I just wasn't happy with it so I thought it would be best to kind of come back fresh and give you a bit of a breakdown from the last two weeks so last week I actually did my highest mileage week of my whole life I did 57 and a half k which is about 35 miles and this week will be will be my peak week in which I'm looking to hit 60k so just over 37 miles um yesterday I did a pretty long long run it was kind of three hours and 11 minutes and I got to 28k which is I think 17 and a half miles I'd actually done over 8k on Saturday night as well so I was running I did like 60 minutes of running Saturday night and then Sunday ran for three hours and 11 minutes to just try and replicate a well 20 plus mile long run really when I when it came down to it so I'm feeling a little bit delicate today um physically like no aches or pains touch wood but um yeah really hungry really tired and definitely feeling like I'm in the peak week of marathon training I don't wanna do this anymore. so the first thing I need to do this is Monday now we are three weeks six days away from Berlin Marathon and I need to go and put my daily suggestions into my spreadsheet because it kind of shows me enough for the next week so I'm going to go and put those in to my spreadsheet and I will be right back and we will look at what this week looks like Okay, so I've got my spreadsheet up here and this is what peak week is looking like. So as, although I wanted to peak at about 60k, it's looking that I'm going to peak at 64, 65k, um, which is about 40 miles, which is nuts in my head, but I think it can only be a good thing and then I can have my glorious taper. So we're not running today. I'm going to do a 30 minute bike just to flush out the legs. Um, straight after work today then we've got a vo2 max session tomorrow um it looks quite nice shorter bursts of speed which isn't a bad thing so that should be about 6k um wednesday we've got a easy run thursday we have got a pretty vile looking tempo session which i might actually end up doing to heart rate rather than by pace but we'll see friday we've got another easy run sprint sessions on saturday and then a long run on Sunday. I'm only going to go up to 26k on Sunday because that is three hours. So we're going to cut it three hours. So last week was three hours and 15. So um, almost. So yeah, that's what this week's looking like. I've also got a, I'm also going to do a bike as well on Wednesday, just a 30, 30 minute bike. And then on Friday, I'm going to be doing a 45 minute bike. So that is week 15, guys. And this is the highest mileage week I'm going to do. So I will see you after work for a little flush out of the legs of bike session, but it's getting a bit real now. <laughs> right guys, I've just finished work and I've put my hair in a ponytail <laughs> and we're going to go and do a bike. Now, um, Garmin suggestion today, by the way, I haven't put in any um, like rest days or preferred days to train at all this week, just to kind of see what Garmin gives me, but it's still giving me a rest day today anyway. I mean, it's no surprise. <laughs> as my training readiness is poor um, and it says let your body recover so I'm not going to kind of do what the ride prescribed today is because um, I'm taking part in a power zone pack challenge so I need to complete the rides but they don't penalize you for not following the rides to the letter so today is supposed to be a power zone ride and that looks to be, <laughs> to be a little bit intense from one what I feel like I could do today and also what's probably sensible so I think what I'm going to do instead of the um 
prescribed intensity I'm just going to take it really cruisy in zone two and just make sure I treat it as a bit of a recovery ride um I do really want to look real roll my legs out um and do a bit of high cadence work so that is what we're going to go and do now um my ears are so red <laughs> I keep going really it's really muggy here at the moment um yesterday was a really um humid long run so I am making sure to drink plenty and I think I'm gonna to have to be very boring for the next few weeks until race day to make sure I'm drinking loads of water getting enough sleep and doing a lot of stretching so I mean if there's any time to be doing it it's now so I'm gonna go and get this ride programmed in I don't know if I'll even really take part in the ride or whether I'm just gonna watch something on like my iPad kind of propped up to the screen um, it's just getting doing what I need to do really so I'm going to go by heart rate try and keep it in well, I'm not even going to try I am going to keep it in zone two and that will be me done for today let's go and get this ride done that was textbook angelic behavior <laughs> so I spent pretty much the whole time in zone two heart rate and also zone two, zone two power zone and perfect recovery workout according to Garmin so yeah, I'm very glad I got that done. So I can take off that week of power zone training. And I just feel like I've kicked off Monday with a very sensible session. So I'm gonna feel very smug for the rest of the day. Um, but no, that was really good. Just to watch some Netflix um, instead of listening to the class cues because I didn't, I didn't quite trust myself <laughs> not to obey it. So yeah, all done and I'm going to chill for the rest of the evening, but happy to be back guys properly. See you tomorrow. Hey guys, it is Tuesday and I had another really bad night's sleep. Um, and this is one of the really nice things I like about the Garmin, <laughs> the Garmin daily suggestions is that has affected my recovery. And therefore we have no VO2 max session on the cards today. Garmin has had a change um, and I've got a 53 minute base run instead. So some nice easy miles, which to be honest, I am really grateful for. Um, I've actually got an appointment after work. Um, so, and it's like annoyingly after work enough that I can't run before. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to do it at lunchtime and be really quick about it. Yeah, it just shows that, you know, Garmin does adapt these to how I'm feeling. Although some really cool things today, um, my resting heart rate is down to 55, which is the lowest it's been in a really long time. And my um, HRV last night was up to 48 and my baseline's 40. So it does look like that my body's coping well with the training load. So, you know, even though I've had a few really, really bad nights sleep. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna go, um, go for a very drizzly wet September run and get these miles ticked off. I am gonna wear my Berlin visor on my run because it's really comfortable and my black one needs a wash and I don't give a shit. So I've got enough merch that I can't wear, won't wear, like my jacket and my vest top and like all the training stuff basically. I feel like I can't wear until after race day and I think I'm gonna allow myself to wear the visor. Yesterday's run was okay, actually. It wasn't too bad. Um, I had a small mental breakdown um, when I'd got to the top of the hill, but we're just halfway through. I don't know why I picked such a hilly out and back for lunchtime. No idea. Um, but exactly 6.30 UK pace. Still don't really know what my marathon pace is going to be or what it could be. Um, I love a sub 45. Anything between like 440 and 445 would be amazing. I mean, that would be like a 40 minute PB. So I'll take it. Um, so today, Garmin is kicking that VO2 max down the road again. And we've got another base run today, 42 minutes instead of yesterday's 53 minutes. So that sounds all right actually i might round it up to 7k and do like 45 minutes but 
that's okay. So to supplement that, I'm going to get back on the bike and do a 45 minute power zone endurance ride over lunch. Um, so we're doing 45 minutes at lunchtime and we're doing 45 minutes of running after work. And that just seems to be a good way to split the day up. It's going to get this ride done and then it's back to work. And I'll see you later for a nice, a nice easy run. Three numbers at the bottom of the screen, cadence on the left, the speed of your feet. Resistance on the other side, control of this knob in front of your knees. Right is tougher, left is easier. Cadence and resistance come together in the middle to form output. That's the number that tells you what you're getting out of the bike. That's our primary metric for power zone training. Three minutes, zone one, zone one, easy pedal. Can you see? It's 9pm and I haven't run yet. So, uh, I'm going to go for a run now <laughs> on the treadmill, obviously. And this is sometimes how it happened. We just didn't have a great end to the working day. So, um, made an early dinner, let that go down, relaxed, <laughs> procrastinated, if you will. Um, I don't feel too bad because I obviously did that 45 minute power zone endurance ride at lunchtime. But the thing is, if I don't run today, I'm only making more work for myself the rest of the week and I think at peak week excuses <laughs> are kind of irrelevant to be honest. So running shoes are on. Um, I do need to put blister plaster on because some shoes, which I've gone straight back to the shop, um, have completely cut up my big toe and my ankle. So I'm going to pass those up. I don't know what class I'm going to do yet. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do like a cued class or if I'm just going to watch um, Netflix or Disney Plus. I don't know. Um, but I'll make that decision stood on there, quite frankly. So <sighs> let's go and get 45 minutes done on the treadmill at 9pm at night. <laughs> Why am I like this? All right, guys, this is the current setup. Um, I'm going to do 45 minutes of Netflix um, while eating minstrels and drinking squash because um, that's just what we need to get through peak week. And my minstrel packet fits perfectly into the cup holder. I've forgotten that part of the problem of this is actually trying to choose something to commit to on, on um, Netflix for 45 minutes. Um... So that's going to be fun. Let's choose a motivational documentary. I'm going to watch Sprint. This seems like the right thing to do. So Garmin then decided to give me a rest day when I went to press start on the workout. And I did feel like absolute shit. So this whole thing was a real just disaster. It felt horrific. Uh, and I had the most horrible pain in my ankle. So, yeah. Fail. I'm wearing my balloon cap again because it makes me happy. And my black one is still in the wash. Um, so, I don't really care. Because it's so comfortable. And it's very motivational. I've already got crap on it. Great. It's, it's well loved already. Uh, um, 50th Berlin Mar Marathon hasn't even happened yet. So guys, it's Thursday. I've literally just finished work. It is 20 to 5 and we got a spicy, spicy session. So that VOT Max session that Garmin's been kicking down the road um, is uh, is now is now happening. So we are doing 8 by, just taking a screenshot, 8 by 2 minutes at 5 minute OK. Which doesn't seem too bad actually. Um, it's very windy, it's very gloomy, it's very gross, but I'm going to be a big brave girl and get it done anyway. Um, I was still a bit annoyed about last night, don't really know what was going on last night with my body. Don't think I'm injured, just think I was just tired. Um, and I just had really like cramp in my shin, I, I don't know, I don't know. But we're better today and I'm just going to go and smash it because I have no other choice at this point. So, um, <laughs> let's go. Uh, I haven't got any pockets. 
I've just realised on the leggings I'm wearing um, so I might have to wear a race vest um, race vest? what am I saying? hydration vest um, just to keep my phone in and I might take a drink with me because I reckon I'm just going to feel a bit thirsty after um, 8 sessions in zone 5 um, or 8 laps in zone 5 I'm all over the place today, sorry guys Right, let's go and do this run. VO2 max coming up. Please let my VO2 max go up, by the way. I'm really, like, so close to it being superior and going up to the next VO2 max. I've just been chilling at 20... 20 I've been chilling at 46 for for a while. I'd really like 47. I am productive at the moment as well. So, anyway, enough rambling. Let's go get this VO2 max done. Right, guys, I'm just on the cool down. Oh, that was hard. It's so windy. I was like mostly either running uphill with a tailwind or running downhill with a headwind. Just how it worked out. Uh, the last interval I did was 4.43. I think my worst was like 5.14. I had a really bad stitch. But it's done almost. Which is about 2k from home. It's going to take it nice and easy. And have a look at the stats. You know what, that wasn't, that wasn't actually that bad at all. <laughs> um, uh, I managed to do a bit more than I'd planned to. So I could have taken like a shorter way home and I was like, no, I'm gonna round it up to 8K. So I'm proud of myself for doing a bit more than I had to really. Um, and my pace is for the intervals were pretty even, like, to be honest, um, but the, the last two were the fastest, which is great that I finished faster. And um, yeah, I was either running uphill into with a tailwind or running downhill with a headwind. So it wasn't particularly enjoyable, um, but it's done. 8K is done on a Thursday night and it kind of makes up for the absolute, I don't know, disaster that last night was, to be honest. So I'm gonna have a shower, I'm gonna have pizza, I'm gonna get my pajamas on and I'm gonna have relaxing evening um i've done a lot of stretching since i came in as well i think i'm just getting cramp to be honest and it's probably because i'm not drinking enough in the day so it's my own fault um but yeah uh done happy friday um i should apparently be doing 30 minutes recovery today um but that ain't gonna hit the mileage so i'm gonna go out as quick as i can for a i want to say like 55 minutes to an hour <laughs> easy because um i've literally just finished work i finished work a bit late just how things go on a friday and um we are going to the cinema in like an hour so i need to go and get this run done but i'm just going to take it super easy so it's saturday guys and park run isn't happening today um my brother really didn't want to go and i can't be trusted to not try and run a 5k pb and to be honest a 5k isn't really what is on the plan today uh garmin would like me to do 42 minutes easy and i think that's probably the most sensible option now we've had a few developments <laughs> over the uh, last couple of days which are in this bag so um the first news is we've got a brand new pet oh a brand new pair of my beloved uh hocus the yellow x ones uh this new colorway i'll see if i can get the camera to focus on them instead of me the um this new colorway came out uh i think this week i've never seen it before it's not really on any promo material or anything so um yeah i i mean it was time wasn't it 700 k 700k's gone into the uh orangey red pair and you know what's amazing guys do you know what is the most amazing thing about this is the laces that came with them are different laces than the ones that i had such a struggle with um so they've come with like proper textured laces um and these are actually the shoes i went out and did 8k in last night and last night was a bit of a, a whirlwind really um we were going to the cinema and i was i left it far too late really to be running um like to get to the cinema on time but i still wanted to come back shower get changed and, and go so 
I get points for that. Um, but yeah, so I've taken them out for a spin last night and they are, they're brilliant. They're quite a bit firmer um, than I'm used to because they're so new, but I'm really, I really love the colorway. They're great. Um, however, we do have another problem in the bag. Um, and that is that I um, have also bought another pair of shoes. Um, it was just to try. Um, and I've fallen in love. Now I've tried the Alpha Fly 1 and I tried the Alpha Fly 2 and I hated them. I was like, they're not the shoe for me, which is fine because they're expensive and ridiculous and they're not for me. Um, but this colourway came out, which is it's just a bit of me. It is stunning. And I hadn't tried the Alpha Fly 3 and I heard a lot of people saying they're a little less aggressive. They've got that kind of um, continuous midsole now that they haven't got the kind of split midsole of the um, predecessors. And I love them. Like, I've tried them on. I've taken them on the treadmill for like a minute. <laughs> and I don't know, there's something about them. They're so, they're very similar in spec, dimension, drop, four foot height, heel height to my Hokers. They're just lighter. And I'm, I mean, I'm a four, four foot to mid foot striker anyway. So this AirPod, chef's kiss. Um, so herein lies a problem. Tomorrow we are three weeks out from race day. And my head is saying to take out those, to, to just take the hocus dibble in. Why the hell would I want to mess with the tried and true hocus that have seen me through all of my training miles since March that got me my scratchy pair you know got me my 5k pb this year got me my 10k pb like they're an amazing shoe um and these just feel well not these specific specific pair but you know this this maker model is is tried and tested i know what i'm doing <laughs> i like they they make the most sense they're the safe choice <laughs> but i so want like i love those alpha flies so it's very much head and heart because I've fallen hard and fast for those Alpha Flies. So, I haven't actually taken the Alpha Flies out for a, a proper test drive. So tonight, I was going to go and take them outside because I think I've already decided that I've got to commit and just keep them because as soon... like That's the other thing. These Hokas, I bought directly from Hoka. I didn't buy them from Runner's Need. So I can take these for 30 days, you know, get them filthy... <laughs> take them for a full test drive before Berlin so I took them out last night I was like it's fine if they pinch or they're the wrong size again they're too short they just go straight back to Hoka all my money back Alpha Flies are like the shiny state of the art sports car and as soon as I drive the sports car off the drive I've got to keep the sports car it can't go back to the <laughs> it cannot go back to the showroom is my analogy um but the initial step in feel, the initial step in comfort. I just love them. So I'm going to take them for 8K on the treadmill. Obviously, if in those first few miles, I mean, my treadmill's clean. It's it's fine. <laughs> I could probably get away with just trying them out on the treadmill and knowing one way or another. But that midsole is, I mean, these are not for forever. But, but I, did, I did talk to my mum about this earlier my mum being a non-runner a non uh, and she said that if I got <laughs> we do not want to manifest this if I got into some kind of terrible accident after Berlin and I could never run again would I regret not tr you know not taking the sports car out like never driving a sports car it's a bit of a I don't know I quite like those analogy so I'm going to stick these on I'm going to get changed stick these on and I'm going to take these for 8k uh, on the treadmill because it's pissing it down with rain and I don't really want to take them out in the rain um, so let's go do that and let's see what happens <laughs> what am I doing? this is Maranoia this is Maranoia in its truest form but let's go test them out and let's see what happens I tried them on with pink socks yesterday and they look amazing so I'll, I'll put a picture in um, here <laughs> um and I don't plan to wear them with khaki, but they still look pretty freaking cool.
So let's go take them on the tread. Now, I've sped this up so you haven't got to watch how much of a faff this has been. So I literally spent what felt like the first 10 minutes of that run just readjusting the uppers on the left foot. It was absolutely, it, like it was so painful, it kept rubbing, I couldn't get a good kind of feel for the laces and I didn't know if it was just like the tongue of that particular like shoe wasn't sitting properly. But I don't know, it was so annoying and I just couldn't get a good feel in the left foot at all. And it, yeah, I just spent the first 10 minutes faffing. Right, uh, I'm 4K in and well, halfway through the class actually, I'm 30 minutes through the class and I've just, I've just gone to get changed to put my hopers on. I don't know if it's the socks, leggings combo. My legs are really, like my calves are really swollen, which I don't know. I, I think it probably is the socks, but it's giving me like really bad pain. I don't know if I've got, I feel like if I say it, it's real. <laughs> I don't know if I've got some kind of shin splints. Anyway, I've taken the alpha flies off. Um, I've wiped them where the bottom, like where my tread is, gives off this like black stuff, but they've wiped off perfectly clean. So just in case it is them, but I'm just gonna put them to the side. I'm gonna go back, do my last 4K, do my last half an hour of class, which I'm really, really enjoying, apart from the pain in my legs. Um, and maybe I just need to do a bit more stretching, a bit more resistant band, a bit more foam rolling, just being a bit more angelic. So yeah, anyway, last 30 minutes. And then we're done. When I tell you that the relief I found immediately, it was instant comfort, instant relief, instant perfection, lovely shoes. Good morning, guys. I am just getting ready. <laughs> um, ready to go on my long run. The longest long run, the last long, long run. Uh, so we've got 25k ish on the plan today. It'll be about three hours. So I've just put my lenses in. So everything's just still focusing. Um, I just want to do three hours today. That's the plan. And to get over 60k, which I think I should do as long as I do 25, at least 25k today. So it is absolutely peeing down, which is why I've got my lenses in. I'm just going to get ready and do a bit of skincare and then get my little outfit on. I <laughs> got my little outfit what I intend to wear for Berlin. Um, it's like a last try of shorts, bra, top, um, socks and shoes. <laughs> so yeah, yesterday, insane. As soon as I changed out of those Alpha Fly 3s and into the Hokers, pain went away instantly and I just felt amazing. Like it was almost like a switch had just and I was like bounding for the rest of the run at hopeful marathon pace, feeling like a million bucks. So thank God it rained yesterday. Thank God it rained because that meant I didn't take them outside. <laughs> I made it, well, if they'd gone outside, I wouldn't have been able to return them, but literally the bottom of the alpha flies, oh, they haven't got a mark on them. So they've gone straight back in the box. Um, and they'll go back and I'm gonna wear the hokers on like, why did I think I wasn't going to wear the hopers? Maranoia. That is maranoia for you. So race day shoes decided. So I'm going to take the new hokers out today for the long run just to see if there's any problems. Obviously with the hoker, 30 day money back guarantee. If there is a problem, I'll just return them. And then I don't know what I'll do, but I'll probably just wear my old ones. But um, they felt amazing on the trade yesterday. A complete contrast to the alpha lies, who which just gave me the most insane kind of calf and what would you call it? Yeah, calf and ankle pain. So, yeah. Why Why was it never going to be the hocus? <laughs> the only thing that's different today, I'm going to be trying that's different today, is um, a running belt as opposed to a my camelback. I'm just feeling with the, with the hydration vest, it's really like weighing me down. Like up here, I just feel like I've got weights like over my shoulders, <laughs> which is obviously what it what it does. So I'm gonna try a running belt instead. This is the compression sport one, or the compressed sport one, sorry. It's compressed sport pro. 
um, and it's super stretchy. It's got um, bib, bib stuff. <laughs> Somewhere to put your bib. Although I think I will prefer not to wear my bib where I want to be coming in and out of here because I just think that's gonna get all annoying. But I've tried. I tried it out on Friday. Yeah, I tried it on Friday night. It was just one five hundred ml bottle, my phone, and a gel. Not that I took the gel, it was just to see about how I put things in. And I didn't mind it at all. I just, the only thing that I don't think I would like is I feel like I've got, I've gone from having weight up here to like a tire around my middle, but we're gonna try it, we'll see. If I don't like it, if it's a faff, I'll go back to the uh, Camelback hydration vest. I wish I could just not wear a vest and just take the water on the course. I think it's like a security thing like for me like for me to feel secure but anyway guys i'm gonna finish my coffee i'm gonna go and get dressed into my berlin outfit <sighs> fill up my fill up my water bottles get my gels and go and get this last long long one done which is a bit bittersweet really because i can't believe we're three weeks out three weeks today i've been running berlin marathon Shit. <laughs> so yeah guys i will see you out there i'll bring you with me i don't know how i'm doing a different route today um, I'm going down, an, uh, dual, <laughs> going down a dual carriageway and back again so I don't know how much you'll be able to hear me but I'll give it my absolute best but with rain and cars I just don't know how good the audio is going to be and I can't take the mic because it will get soaked um, but yeah the canal path is an absolute bog so I won't be going down there anyway I'll see you the other like on the run and then I'll come back we'll have a bit of a weekly roundup and then I'm going to edit this video and I'm going to post it <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'll see you out there. Oh, I'm a bit sad. Not sad to be rid of these long ones though, because... <laughs> right guys, we're, we're off and things are feeling good. Don't want to jinx it. This is great. Shoes are great. Let's get it done! Guys, the effort is... I feel like I'm taking it really easy, but it's currently like smashing out 6.30 a k pace with a really low heart rate it's pretty muggy but it's not raining Whew. let's go oh my god that hill was fucking horrible it just went on and on and on but I would compare it to the hill on the Berlin course because if it's as bad as that I know I can do it and if it's not as bad as that I'll make me feel better So first 5k, I've averaged 6.43, that's with the big fuck off hill I've just come up to, at least I get to go down it on the way back. <sighs> right, 5k done in 33 minutes, let's go. Really nice thing about um, running down the dual carriageway is um, there's plenty of places to go to the toilet. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's just one of those things. It was going so well. <laughs> My dummy. Um, positive. Uh, outfit's fine. <laughs> um, I'm really liking this actually. <laughs> but that might be why my tummy's not good. I don't know. It's just one of those things. At least I've been able to go to the loo because plenty of places to stop on the dual carriageway so I'm gonna get back to it. I can always come here on the way back. <sighs> so annoyed. Right, back to it. I'll thank the nice people. The uh, the irony. The irony. I'm feeling a lot better now guys. We've got a second wind. Pardon the pun. We're at 11k. An hour and 15 minutes in. So, I'm going to do another 2k, get to 13 and then turn around and we'll just make it 26. If I'm really having a nightmare I can stop at 25 and then we'll still get 60k in for this week. I nearly there. And I can turn around and go home. <laughs> wow well, guys. Um, I think I'm going to turn around now. Uh, I'm just at about half, oh, I'm at 12.5k. How far have I been? 
One minute. Wait for it to uh, sort itself out. An hour and 25, so I'm pretty much halfway. My stomach is in a really, really, really bad way, if I'm being honest. A really, really, really bad way. Um, and this is a note to self to always take a precautionary modium prior to any long run. Because this is really not fun. It's all good though, like, to be positive, the kit's great. I mean, the shoe, I haven't even thought about the shoes. The shoes are fab because I haven't even thought about them. It's not raining. I'm just kind of accepting it at the last, but I feel good. Like even annoyingly, if my stomach wasn't a problem, I would be, and I have, you know what, my pace is fine. Cause I didn't even, I was just, I just told myself to go really slow today. Cause I was just like, go slow, you know, don't try and go at marathon pace. Just enjoy your last long run. Take it easy, take it cruisy. So I'm just gonna, gonna head back now but it, the sun's shining so anyway let's go home um fuck it <laughs> just taking an, i'm just gonna take an emodium before every run now not before every run but i will definitely be taking a pack of emodium to the lid so note to self lucy pop that on your packing list right i will see you in a bit guys i'm gonna go and run home Another loose stop. Do you know what? I'm so determined to get this done, but I've never been so close to calling my husband and asking him to come and collect me because I feel like absolute shit. Literally. I just want to do it now. I just want to do Berlin now. I don't know. <laughs> I've had enough training. I've had enough of overthinking. I just want to do it. I just want it. Just want to get there now. So I'm at 14k. And a turn around, obviously. So I'm just gonna take it easy. It's really difficult, so I wanna be home right now. I wanna be home. It's like the quicker I run, the quicker I get home. But anyway, we'll get there when we get there. But pace is out the freaking window. Should have been out the window anyway, to be honest, but it's just about survival. Guys, we are almost there. Oh my god. Saying that, I've had a really nice. After my last loose stop, pretty much, I just flew. I've had the best second half ever of a long run. So I can't moan really. Uh, yeah, let's get, let's get home. Um, Neville would like his dinner. I mean, you know, he'd like your din dins. Anyway, I wanted to wrap up the, uh, yeah, I know, I'm taking you downstairs. Um, I just wanted to wrap up the vlog, because I've come home, washed my hair, and now I'm lying on, <laughs> lying on my bed, um, which has been stripped. I don't just sleep on a mattress, I'm not weirdo. Um, and just wanted to sum up the end of that run um because i want to go and edit this video and i want to get it up now i want to get it up tonight so take me as i am um uh, so first half shit show quite literally but oh my god i just flew home i flew home i felt so strong my splits like my last 10k was and I've, I've you know i've come home i've still got loads of energy I didn't have a gel the whole time, so it wasn't like I had a, like I'd had a bad reaction to a gel. I just had some tailwind and leukocyte, which I've had many, many times before. So I've got no idea what set my stomach off this morning. Um, note to self: precautionary emodium before the marathon, <laughs> um, and I think we'll be fine. Um, I haven't actually mentioned the shoes. A dream. Um, I've got a small blister on my big toe, but I think that is from either the Alpha Flies or 
V more V5. They gave me a blister there, so I don't know if that blister's just a bit of aggravated from a longer run, but it's literally nothing to write home about. It's fine. So, <laughs> so um, yeah, kit was brilliant. I don't think I need the hydration vest. I actually found the um, uh, running belt, running running band thing. Um, really handy i found the best way f the best way for me to wear it is inside out so you haven't got like the branding on it and also i don't need the i don't need the um pole loops and i don't need the um bib number thing because i'm just gonna put it on my vest um so all the kit is perfect i don't have to worry about the kit now last long long run done kit is chosen oh my god guys also i managed to find a bra uh, that, don't, that doesn't chafe <laughs> um, I'll put it I'll link it down below um, it's a Lululemon one and I didn't exp I just oh, to be fair I think I wore it another long one and I was just like oh it's a fluke that it hasn't given me chafe but I wore it again today obviously Vaseline my whole chest beforehand but I've done that and chafe with many other bras but yeah it was perfect I highly recommend didn't really expect much from the Lululemon bra but no chafe which is amazing um because i was really sick of just having permanent scars <laughs> so yeah kit is perfect she's perfect i've just cleaned them before i got in the shower and i'm going to put them away until the big day because i've done my last long run in them I've done a short run I've, how many k have i done in them eight four twenty five so that's twelve <laughs> 24, 37k, 12, yeah, 37k, that was quick, um, so, yeah, I'm gonna put them away for the big day, uh, I'm probably gonna wear those stance socks, uh, they're, the, they're the socks I used for the marathon, my last marathon, so I know they're good, um, I could probably use buying some new ones, they're a bit obviously fucking ancient if I've had them for over a year, but they're really good quality. Um, so I might buy myself some new socks. Pfizer was great. Sun gods were great. Everything was great. Just a shame my stomach was not great for the first half. So anyway, guys, um, thanks for tuning in for peak week. We survived and we got to the we got to sixty k. We got to sixty k. So I'm gonna go edit this and get it up and. I'll be back next week for Taper, um, which is going to be interesting because Garmin only wants to give me a one week Taper, um, which is fantastic. Um, and I won't be having, <laughs> I'm going to reduce my mileage by 25% next week and then by 50% the week after and then 75. So I'm doing a th three week Taper. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, three week taper. So I'm kind of going to be using Garmin's um, run suggestions, but doing my own thing um, to make sure that I drop down to 45k next week, 30k the week after that. And then I'll probably do 15k in the week before. That seems like a lot though. Anyway not for today to worry about it's just a guide so it's six o'clock i'm starving i'm gonna go make dinner and edit this video and get it up so love you lots guys um thanks for taking me as i am <laughs> and i'll see you next week as we are three weeks until the day goodbye nave come on then come on <laughs>